Howdy folks, Justin here. We're returning to a classic here. Market Archer. I don't know how well Market Archer is positioned right now in the meta, to be honest with you. Uh, obviously it loses to the Turbo Petamax's Abomination deck, which I've, I'm starting to see on the ladder. <laughs> Let's see how we do against MSAM24. Telvani. How do we play against Telvani? They have the ring. I think we just want to drop a Northwind Outpost. Um, if they use support removal on the Northwind Outpost and not the Swindler's Market, seems pretty good. But the idea is that using Swindler's Market, zero cost cards, and Northwind Outpost, you kill your opponent with North Firebrands, but you can also kill your opponent just with Swindler's Markets. Um, we're going to try to cycle through our deck as quickly as possible and do our shenanigans. This is a deck that I had a lot of fun with for a while. I haven't played it in quite a while, so you get to join me as I return. See if we can go home again. See if we can go home to the Swindler's Market. Used to live there, actually, but uh, it didn't work out for me. Or Clank Captain, also great with our little fellas. Fighters Guild Recruit. All right, where are we at? What, what, what do we got going on here? Ward Crafter. Well, I don't mind rapid shotting the Ward Crafter. There's a Smuggler's Hall. So we're just going to rapid shot. Drew a Dress Spy. I think I hold on to the Dress Spy for now. Still, can't. I mean, my opponent still shouldn't be able to figure out what we're on. Giant Bat. Fair enough. Makes it increasingly difficult to do damage to kill our opponent when they're doing that much damage. Um, let's just play a Northwind Outpost. They might. They might peg us on market now. Graybeard Mentor, sure, 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 sure. The longer they let us do this, though, I think the better off we are. Although, hmm. If we play a Swindler's Market, it'll get destroyed instantly. Nothing will trace back to us. Discard the spinner. Shadow Shift. Goblin Skulk. Goblin Skulk would have been great forever ago. We have nine zero-cost cards in our deck. Let's see if they have the support removal for our Swindler's Market. Not hitting the Goblin Skulk on one or two and not hitting the Markarth Bannerman on five are all real bad signs for the deck. Real bad signs. Not sure what the delay is here. Hmm. You know, I mean, do we think they can upgrade their green shot twice? <laughs> because if they can, dropping these three over here next turn is going to be the end of the game for us. Must I do everything myself? Delani Catspaw. Cruel Fireblade. Hmm. Uh, it's, a, it's a risk I'm willing to take, to be honest with you. I, I think it would be awesome if they didn't have it. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna force them to play it, I guess. I mean, that sounds just absolutely awful. But let's see if they uh, if they do it, if they emote, if it's game over. Or ice storm, I guess. This deck runs both. So shrieking harpy on my skulk. Okay. Shadowfen priest. Yeah, you got him, man. Okay. So, Smuggler's Hall might give us answers to what's on the board right now. So, I think that's probably our play. Northwind Outpost. Septum Guardsman, Improvised Weapon. Close Call, Curse. Okay. We can work with this. Ah! 
past the turn. So we did nine damage there. No way, no way they drew an ice storm or a couple word walls, right? It's just impossible to even imagine that happening. <laughs> Do, 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 do. The deck obviously thrives when your opponent's not playing a lot of removal. <laughs> or interaction of any kind, actually. Soul tear back giant bat. You got it, man. It wouldn't be uh, against decks including the scout colors if there weren't endless giant bats. Okay, there's a giant bat. And a ward crafter for the giant bat, I guess. Sure. Then you swing at this. Okay. Well, we will do what we can do. Alright, opponents of 14, we got an Archer's Gambit in hand. So, Swindler's Market could give us some pretty powerful plays. I'm sorry, Smuggler's Hall. We can move that out of there for whatever that's worth. Opponent swings. There's the word wall. Yeah, absolutely, man. And now we have nothing. And they'll be resurrecting giant bats any minute now. Yep, Thieves Guild Recruit. So, what do we want to draw? Earthbone Spinner. Alright, it's a card we can play. It does remove the guard from that lane, although the Archer's Gambit... I don't know, I mean, what are we going to do at this point? Blackhand Messenger, of course. Okay, let's rapid shot, see if we draw anything useful. Close call. Okay, we're gonna pass the turn. And await our death at the hands of giant bats. Must I do everything myself? Tavani Cat's paw. Into Eclipse Baroness, sure, refill your hand. Those bats aren't going to summon themselves. Alright, Thieves Guild Recruit, not a terrible draw. Shadow Shift, alright, we'll keep digging. Nord Firebrand. Yeah, Swindler's Market unfortunately screwed that up for us. Time to fight. We will put our opponent to six. Do they have the life gain? At this point, if they don't gain any life... Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, Giant Bat. I was worried. I was worried that my opponent wasn't going to be able to play Giant Bat again. <laughs> yeah. Sanctuary Pet. So Smuggler's Hall is still an amazing draw. Suran Pawnbroker. Okay. Well, he's only gaining two life turns. Smuggler's Hall could still kill him because of the Suran Pawnbroker. Okay. Unfortunately, almost every other card in our deck is, de is a completely dead draw. Enderal Mastermind. 
discards a goblin skulk. Necromancer's amulet. That's not a card I want to see for my opponent. Yep, Elusive Schemer, they go to 11. Get greedy, punch me. Okay, Rapid Shot. Nord Firebrand, let's see what we get off of this. The Septum Guardsman. All right, opponent back down to five. But it doesn't really matter because Necromancer's Amulet and Giant Bat. They might just Ice Storm to gain a ton of life. Okay. Giant Bat, they're back up to eight. Okay. Back up to nine. Let's go then. There's an eclipse baroness. Cruel fire bloom. They go up to ten. Smuggler's hall could still be lethal. Got a one in twenty-six. Half our deck left. I'm oh, sorry, two in twenty-six. One in thirteen. Okay. Fair enough. Probably not lethal now. Goblin Skulk. Now yeah, let's do it. Smuggler's Hall. Calm. Paralyze. Close Call. And Vardvark Experiments. Curious how much life they lose from this. Alright, I thought it was possible that they lost uh, life when these were summoned. I was mistaken, just from casting the card. That was a disappointing, a very disappointing... Um, Smuggler's Hall. Okay. And now they have targets for their cool fire bloom, so they can gain more life. Nice yep. Care to go again? Yeah, the Dark Rebirths are insanely greedy from our opponent, but working out. Deciding which of their creatures they're sacrificing. Yep, Sanctuary Pet. Unfortunately, we're going to draw something like Markarth Bannerman and just not be able to do anything with it. Mummify, so they can kill their own creature. It's good. It's smart. Daggerfall Mage. Opponent back up to 14. Nord Firebrand. Gonna pass the turn. So they gotta give us another card if they want to gain life with their giant bat. Which is pretty nice. Their discard pile, of course, full of giant bats now for necromancers to play with. Close call. Playing that Vardvarks was a huge mistake. And there's Cat's Paw, they're up to 17.
My opponent is rooting for me. Or not my opponent, my uh, friend in chat. Mm-hmm. Nineteen. Care to go again? Yeah, they can just cycle the elusive schemers over and over again because of the goblin skulk. Yep. Cruel fire bloom. Twenty-one. Okay, let's do some quick math. One, two, three, four from playing the tokens. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Huh. We are almost there, actually. I'm going to pass the turn. I might be able to, with the right draw, I can kill him next turn, actually. Assuming he doesn't gain a million life, but. He does have to give me a card if he wants to keep swinging. Okay. Sir and Pawnbroker might help me in my mission. Okay, they go to 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, wait, I did have lethal in previous turn, I think. Hmm. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I was worried there wasn't going to be more giant bats in my future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I could have actually killed my opponent, and I just miscounted. Okay. Swing with the bat. Markarth Bannerman's not a good draw. Alright, can we do 28? Let's do what we can. Do 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 ba da ba ba I'm so sorry your giant bats weren't enough my friend stay calm So I did miss lethal on the previous turn but I haven't played this deck in like a year and that was pretty sweet Oh my god Correct.